Auto HDR on Windows 11 fixed for all TVs and monitors. Very easy. Download this ICC profile, link in the description, and you have to edit the peak brightness depending on your display. Why this works? Because Auto HDR from Windows 11 is using this Pierce Wise sRGB and that makes the near black too bright so the games are looking washed out. So now this doesn't happen on every single game, it happens in most of them. And all you have to do is default to this ICC profile and if you open a game and it looks too dark near black, I'm talking about you're obviously crushing black so you cannot see on the darkness. Very easy, you just default back to the HDR calibration app profile. So what you're gonna do on this site is download this unspecified ICC profile. So this unspecified ICC profile is going to allow you to change the brightness. If you have an LG CX, C1, C2, just download any of these. Okay, you can download this 400 nits brightness 80. The peak brightness when you go to display settings is going to say 800 nits because this was tested on an LG C2. Okay, but if you have a different display and you need a different peak brightness, then you're going to use the method that I'm going to share with you. Okay, so all you're going to do is use this CRU app. Link in the description of the video. You open this CRU executable and then you go come here under extension blocks. You double click here, then go to HDR static metadata and you're going to change this max luminance. Okay, so now which number do you have to input here? You have to test it depending on your display. What is the brightness that you need? Let's say you need 1000 nits, you lower this from 200, I don't know the number, lower it to 198 or something like that. And then once you change that, come here again to display settings, you have to close it and open it again and take a look at this peak brightness number, okay? Display advanced display options. And then you, you know, keep testing until you get the peak brightness number that you need. Now, this is going to be relevant only and exclusively to auto HDR supported games. That's it, okay? So for SDR content, this doesn't matter at all. For SDR content, it will look very good. It will look correct because this is fixing the problem that we have. This mod that you're downloading here is going to fix this issue near black. So all SDR content on Windows is going to look good. Link in the description of the video where I explain in detail what this does for SDR content, okay? But for Auto HDR, this is all you have to do. Download the ICC profile. Then after you download that, you come here to color management. You come here to color management. Then you click on add, okay? And then you search that ICC profile. So I click here, add, then you browse for that ICC profile, the file that you downloaded, and then you're going to tick this, bo this box. Before clicking Browse, tick this bo box that says Add as Advanced Color Profile, okay? And, and the reason is for this to be applied to HDR. Okay, so to HDR, you need to add as Advanced Color Profile, then you hit Browse, then you find that file that you downloaded, you hit OK, and you select it and you set it as default profile, okay? That's it, you set that as default profile and you're done, you can close this and this is going to work for auto HDR supported games, okay? That's it, <laughs> it's gonna look, it looks very, very good, let me show you. This is, and let me show you that this is actually working. Uh, and let me also, explain you something about auto HDR. So for example, right now I selected 200 here. The number that I selected here was 200, just to test. And this max sec max luminance set to 200 
gives me a peak brightness of 3,806 nits. So now, Auto HDR doesn't go over 1,000 nits on Windows 11. Why? I don't know. It's just, it maxes out at 1,000 nits. So if you have a display that requires 1,500 nits for the tone mapping or to get the best HDR picture, the games are not going beyond 1,000, unfortunately. So the maximum number you're gonna get is 1,000, even if you set this to higher, okay? And here's the proof. For example, this game is still rising. Uh, I set it to, you know, 3,805 nits, and the maximum uh, brightness right now is 928 nits, okay? It's not gonna go that high. But <laughs> this is the best you can get from Auto HDR from Windows 11. So let me show you how it looks. This is the game. It looks very, very good, and the difference is very noticeable. Let me show you, for example, in a scene like this, take a look at the shadows. I am going to change the profile so you can see the difference. I'm gonna come here to display settings and I'm gonna change the profile. So after you do that, you come here to color profile and you, you use that, okay? So I'm gonna change to the HDR calibration app profile. See the difference here? I mean, I don't need to go, even need to go to the game. Look at this. You can see the change in real time. Look at the shadows here. Look at this shadow area. This is the HDR calibration app profile. If I change it to this one, boom, you see that difference? This is huge. You might look at this example here with my camera, which of course it cannot show you exactly what I see in front of me. And you might think like, man, that's not a big deal. I mean, it's just a small difference. This is huge. This makes the game from looking washed out and the colors desaturated and grayish, this gives you deep blacks, especially if you have an OLED, but even on an LCD screen, this makes all the difference in the world. It's a huge deal. Look at the difference here. Before, after. This is just mind blowing, man. The games look good. They look correct. They look the way they should look. It's absolutely amazing. So now, again, you might open a game where you're crushing blacks, okay? If that's the case, it's because that game gamma, so the source gamma is sCRGB. In that case, you come and you just default to the HDR calibration app profile, just default to this one. Very easy. If you're crushing blacks, clearly just default to the, to the HDR calibration app profile, that's it. Otherwise, use this. Now, if you have an LG, you know, CX, C1, C2, you don't have to do that. Just download the 400 nits uh, profile, as I recommend before. This 400 nits brightness 80 that has, or any of this really, they are calibrated for peak brightness 800. So you don't have to do that. But if you, if you need a different brightness, then you do this. And you might think, well, if auto HDR doesn't go over 1000 nits, what's the point? Or maybe you have a display that you need 650 nits, like an LG Ultra Gear 240 hertz uh, monitor. This OLED uh, 240 hertz monitor, it needs 650, then you change it using this method. Or if you need 1000, let's say you have the Alienware QD OLED ultra wide monitor, you need 1000 for the HDR 1000. You're gonna use this method. So now, which is which number here is gonna be 1000? You have to test it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, I can throw a rock right now and say, let's try 140, for example, 140, and see what happens. So what you have to do is change the number here, hit OK, 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 and then you have to come here to this folder and hit Restart 64. So when you do this, the you know, screen is gonna go off for a moment. It's gonna come back. What this is doing is it is resetting the drivers, okay? The GPU drivers. So after that, we should see the change. But now we have to close this and open it again because right now this is not gonna, this is not going to change. Well, it did, <laughs> it did change. But sometimes I have to close this. But as you can see here, we are almost 
on target. It was a rock. I didn't know the number, but we're very close. 1,038 nits. That's okay. That will be okay because auto HDR is not going beyond 1,000 anyway. So there you go. That would be the number if you need 1,000. Uh, if you need less than that, then you know for sure that you have to reduce this number even more. Okay? So there you go. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have any questions, 